Oh, hello. This is Tak Chong from Walk with Tak. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. And these are soybean fields. And the farmers here cultivate only soybean and corn. And they alternate them up between growing seasons. Now, this is truly industrial scale farming. Uh, only one farmer is enough to cultivate as much as 1,000 acres. And these soybeans are really impressive how they line up in rows. Okay, so let's get to today's video, which I'm going to talk about the versatility of a wok. I remember when I was growing up in Hong Kong, there was only one cooking utensil in the kitchen, and that was a wok, which was used for almost every cooking task in the kitchen. And when I first start cooking with the wok, I use it mainly for stir frying. And my kitchen cabinet is cluttered with different sizes, pots and pans. For example, I have frying pans of different sizes, and I use them only rarely. And I also have pots of different sizes, and I only use some of them in rare occasions. And then I think back to the days uh, when the wok is the only cooking utensil in the kitchen. Then I quickly realized that uh, I can use the wok not only for stir frying. In fact, I can use the wok as a frying pan. Why not fry some hamburger in the wok? Or even to make some grilled cheese sandwich in the wok. And the wok should not be just limited for the purpose of stir frying. For example, I could even use the wok as a the pot, in this case for boiling spaghetti noodles. And so if you want to use your wok for more different type of cooking functions, here's our 10 tips. Uh, tip number one, choose a wok with the greatest flexibility. Uh, you will want to find a wok that in addition to do stir frying, that it is also capable of doing pan frying, boiling, steaming, and baking in the oven. Uh, one such wok that comes to mind is the Cucina 14-inch stainless steel wok. I use this wok to perform nearly 100% of all my cooking tasks. Uh, tip number two, choose the wok that is the right size as well as right weight for you. Uh, you want to choose the wok that is large enough uh, to allow you to cook the amount of food that you want. Uh, the weight of the wok is very important because you're going to move the wok around from the stove to the countertop and to the sink. You need to be comfortable with the weight of the wok. If it is too heavy, you will find it difficult to move. The handle of the wok is also important. You want a wok with a handle that will stay cool. If you have a wok that do not fit this criteria, then you will end up not using it very much. Tip number three, always get a wok without non-stick coating, so you do not have to worry about damage the surface of the wok. And learn how to season your wok to create a non-stick cooked surface. I use my spot seasoning method to season the wok each time before you cook. You can learn more about how this method works by taking a look at this video. I practice the spot seasoning method by frying some eggs. And once you have found that egg no longer stick to the surface of the wok after you do the spot seasoning method, you know that you have done it correctly. And number four, keep the wok always clean and accessible in your kitchen. I develop a cleaning routine that you can clean your wok effectively and efficiently. After you clean your wok, the best way to store your wok is to hang it up. This is great because it is highly visible and anytime when I want the wok, I can just reach for it. Alternatively, you can leave the wok right on the stovetop. Uh, this would be indication this would be your first cooking choice. And number five, make the wok the first option for any cooking task that you want to perform. Uh, in addition to stir frying, think of any other cooking task that you need to do, the wok can do. For example, I find the wok is great for uh, boiling spaghetti pasta noodles. Uh, the wok is also great for frying hamburgers. Uh, by having the right kind of wok, uh, it can substitute as a small frying pan. Of the wok is great for using in steaming. 
and you can steam many different uh, food ingredients in a bamboo steaming basket. And number six, think out of the box of what you can use the wok for. For example, if you have the right kind of wok that can go into the oven, uh, you can use the wok for baking. In this case, I demonstrate how to bake some bread in the wok. In fact, you can also use the wok to make a birthday cake. Uh, if you have a wok that comes with a stainless steel dome cover, uh, you can use the wok as a roaster. And my friend Eugene loved to use his wok for making popcorns. And number seven, uh, learn how to handle different type of food ingredients uh, in the wok. Uh, the wok can cook almost any type of food ingredients that you want, uh, ranging from meat to seafood and to vegetables. Also, the wok is great for making fried rice. It can make different type of noodles. Uh, there are almost infinite possibilities. Uh, the more you know what the wok can handle, uh, the more likely you will use it more often. Uh, number eight, learn the capacity of the wok, of what type of food that you can accommodate in the wok. Uh, because of the shape of the wok, uh, the wok has a scalability that no other cooking utensil can provide. Uh, for example, you can fry a single egg in the wok, uh, as well as uh, you can cook a large batch of fried rice uh, for four or five people. Uh, by knowing the capacity of the wok in cooking different type of ingredients, uh, you can avoid putting too much in the wok and hence reduce its cooking efficiency. Uh, number nine, learn the heat capacity of your stove as well as the heating property of your wok. Uh, even though most of the time you cook things in the wok in high heat, particularly during stir frying. However, there are times you want to carefully control the heat so you do not end up burning the food ingredients. Uh, also by learning how long it would take for you to heat up the oil in the wok, uh, it will prevent you from overheating the oil. Uh, understanding the heat capacity of your specific wok is going to be extremely helpful. Uh, it will make your food taste better as well as make your cooking experience more pleasurable. And number 10, familiarize different ways uh, to clean the wok. Uh, you want to clean the wok as efficiently as possible. Uh, for most of the cooking tasks, you should be able to clean your wok in less than a minute. Uh, however, there are times food can get stick and burn to the bottom surface of the wok. Uh, you want to learn and familiarize uh, with uh, cleaning methods such as the spot cleaning method that I shown in this video that will help you to clean up woks that are difficult and has things burned and stuck to it. So here are 10 tips that will help you to enhance the cooking function of your wok. Uh, number one, choose a wok with the greatest flexibility in allow you to perform different types of cooking tasks. And number two, find a wok with the right weight and size that you are comfortable with. And number three, uh, learn as well as practice how to season your wok to create a non-stick cook surface. And number four, keep your wok as accessible and reachable uh, as possible in your kitchen. And number five, make your wok always the first cooking option uh, when you do any types of cooking. And number six, think out of the box of what the things that you can do uh, with the wok in achieve the type of cooking that you want. And number seven, uh, learn how to use the wok to cook different types of food ingredients. And number eight, learn the cooking capacity of your wok to accommodate different types of food ingredients. And number nine, Learn the heat capacity of your stove uh, as well as uh, the heating property of your wok. And number 10, familiarize yourself of different ways of how to clean your wok. And if you take these 10 tips into consideration of how you use the wok, uh, I think you will find that you are far more likely to pull out your wok every time when you're ready to cook. And the more you cook with the wok, the better you're going to be good at it. And once you develop the competence, uh, you're going to cook with consistency. I post a video every day to teach people about my fast cooking system. Uh, if you are interested in adopting my fast cooking system, uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. 
and thank you for watching. I will see you tomorrow.